What's up, Kisube? How's it going? <clears throat> Michael likes Takis. Was good. Just chilling. Just trying to get some practice in. Hey G, what's up? How's it going? Tyrone, pretty good. <clears throat> Just chilling. Sorry, Wave Dash Run, you were awesome. Thank you, Ender. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is much better. They're actually playing this. How are the Sonic doing the snake matchup as well? Oh, what? Oh, that's good. Take 
that. No, he was dead. I thought I had gyro, what? Ooh. Did I see the Zachary Taike set? I have not seen it yet. I think the matchup is Sonic favor though. Slightly. Ready? I thought I had gyro, that's why I went for upper. What's up, Dawes? I feel so slow right now. Holy shit. Crazy. Let's 
good, Zeno. What happened to the to the other playlist? All because I've dropped a bread and butter. I don't like Wi-Fi, man. <laughs> like, coming back from Wi-Fi after playing offline for five days straight is actually a painful experience. What am I doing? What's up, Zeno? Luke, <clears throat> how's it going? Pros. There we go. I need one bread and butter. What I get today. Yeah. 
What's up, Shogun? Hey, my man. CD Smash Mods was good. up man appreciate it guys if you don't know who that is that's the the artist because what he made was art that made my beautiful shadow controller yeah you can type oh it's it's in sub mode i don't know why it's in sub mode i'll get rid of it oops Have I seen Taikage and Ken? I have not seen it. I, like I know what they did, but I haven't. Uh, I haven't watched it. That's, that's, if that's what you're asking. I have a lead. Messed up. Gotta get better reacting to that. You just follow it and it's, it's got a 30 minute timer. Damn. Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll... What? Damn. I'll work on that. I shouldn't have thrown it away. Oh. I suddenly started lagging, I don't know why. There. Go! Bruh, I literally timed it perfectly. If that worked, it was actually done. Yeah, you're not punishing that. Not too punish. I'm dead. Exactly plays that matchup so well. I mean, the matchup's not hard to play as Rob. Like textbook Rob stuff will will um it's just gonna work against Sonic. Like you don't, you don't necessarily have to know the matchup or anything. It's literally just you playing Rob. Why am I approaching like a dumbass? I try to down tilt. Yeah. Did an air dodge? Nothing. Okay. Shields mat low. Poke. 
Is that not shield pose? No, nothing's on the line. I think my just very disciplined. Piece of cake. How do I turn off 30 minute mode? That comboed? Did it? If it did, I'm glad. He needs it. What's the mod called? It's called, uh... It's called Type G Sonic. You're probably gonna wanna keep that 30 minute thing going on. Not right now, only for coin mugs. I think it's fine now. Hey, Andrik, gracias por el follow. How good do you think it is to pull grab spin? Terrible. If it works, you gotta grab congrats, like... Okay. <laughs> If you miss, it's gonna auto DI away and you're gonna die at 50 to 40. Yeah, I love, I love up air, man. Yo, thank you for the right E. Appreciate it, bro. Oh no. Uh, am I dead? No. It caught it. I wanted to catch it. I wanted to catch it. That's my fault. I come on to just catch it. I didn't grab the ledge. It's the same thing that happened against uh, Leo Sporin. Or I didn't grab the ledge and then got pinned. Gyro? He's seeing green. Let's get up attack.
I feel so off on Wi-Fi now. Which is good because it means that I'm gonna do really good offline and I'm doing really good offline. But it's bad because it sucks in the moment. It is what it is though. I'll just take it with a grain of salt. Yo, Zoker, thank you for the sub, appreciate it. Hey, there you go, you got the shadow. The shadow badge, let's go. How the Rob matchup going? It's going amazing. I love this matchup, it's so fun. I'm just kidding. I mean, I don't hate it, but... <clears throat> I think Rob is a very corny character. Because he kind of just, he plays, I think Rob is probably the only character in the entire game that doesn't really need to learn matchups. Like his standard game plan just works against all characters. And he's not that good of a character either, but it's still a very solid game plan. It's kind of like Steve. Well, Steve is the other character, obviously, that doesn't really have to learn matchups. Just watch any Steve play a matchup, any matchup, and you'll see them try to punish stuff they can't punish. Not punishing stuff they can punish. Same with Game Watch, I actually agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's kind of weird. Because like, even in Smash 4, even in Smash 4, with, all, with as many broken characters as there were in that game, you had to learn matchups. What's up, Wizzy? You had to learn matchups. In order to do good. For the most part. For the most part. I know some characters like DK. Kinda didn't. But. In this game. I feel like there's some characters like that. You love the emotes? I'm glad you do. They're cool aren't they? I forgot Mewtwo was good. <clears throat> I literally forgot Mewtwo was good. Quite a lot of top tiers play their own game in Ultimate. True, but there's still... <clears throat> there's still some, if not... Like, most of them still have to kind of learn matchups. At least... At a certain level. And like they have to play the matchups. Or rather they have to play differently. In ma like Sonic for example. I can't just time out Rob. I can't just spin camp Rob. The same way I would spin camp. I don't know Bowser for example. I have to actually like. Like I had to learn how to catch Gyro. How to use Gyro against him. How to parry Nair. How to do all this. But, um, characters like Rob and stuff, I mean, it's the same thing. Like, there's not going to be a matchup where you're going to be like, oh, you can't pull Gyro. Like, mm -mm. or you can't Nair. Like, Rob players are going to Nair no matter what. I do think Sonic beats Rob slightly. It's just a very annoying matchup. But it's annoying for the wrong reasons. Like, you have to. I don't know. I think that playing, like, playing Anathema, Anathema is his own Rob. Like, I don't count Anathema as part of, like, the Rob matchup because playing Anathema almost feels like playing a completely different character. And then, like, literally playing Anathema and then playing, like, any other Rob is completely different. Because Anathema is actually smart. And I'm not saying Rob players are dumb, but they are very linear. And Anathema is, like, probably the only one. I mean, he's, pro he's probably linear in his own way. But it's not linear in the sense of, oh, it's a Rob, let me just do the same thing that works against every other Rob. 
It's more of when I have a place its own game. Which is good. What's up, Ile? What's up, Don? Good on in the last tournament. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Nothing much ordering pizza, by the way. In the meantime, let me switch skins. Also, look at this new headset that I got for winning. Not winning. Getting second at Wave Dash. Look at this. It's kind of cool. I have yet to unbox it. But I will do it soon. No more pink headsets? Nope. No more. It's pretty dope, yeah. It has a Blue Yeti microphone built in, too. Three, mm. two, one, go! Okay. God, we're referring to it all. That Nair hurt box shift is actually so annoying. Man. I just gotta stop spinning and straight punishing him. when you finish a combo and side B landings <laughs> it's broken Ready? I was wondering if you know about trading fair yeah it's just not consistent and like bear is just so much better because bears hitbox is way bigger you can actually aim for the head, or aim to hit the head, and not have to worry about oh, being so precise. Take that. I'm driving now. Let me, let me try something, let me try something. Not on this, this stage is AIDS, whatever. We're just gonna keep playing this shit, I guess. Oh 
away. How did that hit me? Am I dead? Back here. Here we go. I'll take that. He's gonna laser me. Yep. Next laser, I'm just gonna spin charge underneath. Whoa, 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 whoa. Laser. Thank you. We're not living. Didn't go for the first spike. It's not worth it, bro. Nah, Sonic sucks, man. What the fuck? <laughs> it's supposed to shield poke Rob every time. And it did. Did you know how to spin charge you have enough time to throw item away in opposite direction into a combo to Oh, really? That's actually really good to know. Are flat stages or platforms better? I think both are good equally. It's a matter of preference. And who are you playing against? If you're playing against. Yeah, give me that gyro. Oh, good. Combo. There, close enough. There, uh, order miss. Chill poke. Go. Hey, let's go. Roll. You're not epic, Gabriel. All right. Yeah. 
No. Wow, down tilt, let's go. Oh man. Homing attack. That was a good thing. Grab me. Okay. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, thank you. Jump. Should be dead. Sonic sucks. It's not dead. I was just tossing him around. Can someone tell why BDW is retiring? He is? I didn't know that. Like, this is this is news to me. I should have delayed it. Laser. Wow, just one for it again. I couldn't do shit. Wow. I didn't have an air dodge. That sucks. I don't want to read his whole essay. That's a dash, definitely. Double jump. Hmm. Spin jump. Bro, how did that mit nah nah just order next time I guess 180 That was really bad, that was really bad. That was four tilt, but cool. You're dead. Um, help. Let's go. 
Sonic Uptail is underrated, it's okay. I don't, he doesn't really state directly he's gonna retire though, unless I'm missing something, but to me it just sounds like he wants to make it work, and it's just hard, that's what I got from it anyways. Yeah, of course, the spon sponsor part is true. That was fast. Why do we keep getting Kalos though? I don't get it. Kalos is actually like Rob's best age in this match, especially. Yeah, I want something cool. Yeah. 
That's not hit me. I up smashed. He was dead. Go. Getting him the sympathy right now. Good fucking DI. Okay. I should pray that and immediately talk to the bro. Do you have any guides you can recommend to learn Sonic without no experience with Char? The Char. I don't know why I always read it like that, but with the character, yes. He already has like 100 subs though, I don't know how he's still in depth. I don't think Lucina's like really easy for Sonic. I just know Mr. E's playstyle well. Three, two, so it's kind of easy for me to just like go. do that. We was playing Wrath earlier and it was going a lot differently. So I don't think the matchup is, Like, I don't think it's a matchup. Okay, I literally ordered. I can't play right now, I don't know what it is.
What? That's not what I wanted, man. Go! I'll take that. That's for sure. Hmm. I'm playing so shitty. Compared to yesterday, maybe I should have just gone to the gym. You want me to pick you up? I can't even... I can't get you in the gym though, because like my gym doesn't really accept guests. I mean, well technically, if I, I guess if I notify them, that's what they said, but there's never staff in the fucking gym. Just kinda, what, what is he doing bro? Just play the game. But yeah. Like, you're not gonna... I won't be able to get you in. Otherwise, I would. Up smash? Up close in a row. Who the fuck does that, bro? Like, that's not optimal. Wow, I read that too. crazy.
jump. Now you're gonna jump. Alright, bro. It sets up perfectly to keep covering shit. No. That was not true. I just gotta keep mashing, bro. I'm playing really off today. Maybe I should just not play. But I wanted to stream. Ready? I have not gotten the cannon kind of carrier. Mm -mm. Well, the the appointment. I made the appointment for five. So I still haven't gotten there yet. I haven't gotten to that part. Oh, I have the lead? Fuck that. I ain't approaching you. Laser? Oh, that was fully charged. Alright, that's my bad. Are you not dead? Yeah, you can't do that again. Free the cat, you won't. No, she's sick. I gotta take her to the vet. Well, I don't, I don't know what she has, but she's like, she's been squinting one eye ever since we came back. We don't know what the fuck happened. Nobody knows what the fuck happened. So we're kind of worried. Like, hopefully it's nothing too serious, but the fact that she's doing it, it's just concerning. Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> Spin charge. Gotta try harder. Sonic casually walking back and forth looks funny. I think it's a funny guy. Also, chat, we need new sub emotes ideas. What should we do? Three, two, one, what should we do next? Yeah, that was... 
double jump. Jump. I mean, that works too. Neutral get up. Back here. And you're dead. Yep. Super death. Simple. Double jump. That's fine. Double jump instead of this full hop instead of double jump. Yep. Thank you, Pitri. Yeah. I need to just get up attack that. Go! Oh yeah, I do I do have a timeout emote, yeah. Nah, if I gotten If I had gotten zero to death for fucking up airing his shield. Uh I just grabbed. Double jump. Grab gyro. Face it down. Or don't. Crazy. I'm not dead. I hate how that just works. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. You need to have an emote of your face because when you're at a tournament, you have a real serious. <laughs> you could have done it there. I mean, I need to lab it. Sonic's surrounded by Chaos Emeralds. I could do that. Hold spin that. Oh, that's you're talking about spin shot. Okay. Ready? It's really good practice. The thing about Anathema is he's a really solid. Like Anathema understands Rob really well. He's probably the best Rob player. Like, I know Zomba is, I guess, technically the best player with Rob, but Nathama is definitely the best Rob player, if that makes sense. Got it. Oh, that barely man. I'm surprised. Okay. How did that? What? Alright, no question. Yep. Invincibility. Let's go. Oh no. Nah. Oh, 
was too low. That was good. Really the commentators were talking about Chase needing to have a jawline like you. The commentators? I know I saw Twitch chat say that. I didn't think the commentators. One pixel. Yeah, that's, that's fucking crazy. It was so bad, true. What? That mid range perfectly there. No, easy. I'm getting a lot better at that. I think it's because of playing different characters. I kind of playing Palu and just, just watching Chase play Palu, and I've gotten better at playing that mid range with Sonic and understanding when I can like engage in that mid range or disengage. Ready? We're doing that against Leo too. Points. I think I see the points. <laughs> That's Go. fucked up though. Y'all need to get the clip. A clip of that. I. I was definitely mashing my brains out right there. Nice. How loud was the crowd when Ender beat Big Boss? It was, it was pretty loud, but it wasn't that, nothing crazy. There we go. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing too much. Okay, yeah, great. Sonic the Hedgehog, everybody. Good. Am I dead? 
That was Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi was probably at least. Yeah, they were pretty loud. They were just... They were being super loud in general. Like, anytime Andrek would get an upbeat, they would be like, YES! It was funny to watch. Good to hear. Let's go. Let's go, Spring. People said I started a yes thing? No. Hell, hell no. That's crazy. Yeah, Nuke is pretty good. Oh my god. I miss him, but that spin charge too. I meant to turn it around. Oh. But yeah, he's good. He's just. He still suffers from Falconitis, though. Which is. Just like trying to take your stock at zero. And it's like. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but. You can't just be good at that, or you can't just look for that all the time, because there's people that will play around that, and then when people play around that... Ready? But yeah, like, when people play around that, you can't just keep forcing it. It's a, it's like, it's the same as Sonic players, like, when... But well, they're spin camping and spin, spin camping isn't working. Like, the answer isn't to just spin more or change your timing. Sometimes changing your timings can work, but. You. Oh, give me Jarrow, give me Jarrow. Playing on Sonic Frontiers, really good game. One of my favorite Sonic games. What happened? Does he have a secondary? I don't think so. Yeah, he told me he was like, he destroyed Fox because <laughs> probably sees me lose tonight, but.
Yeah, I'm getting lazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. We gotta catch it. Where's it gonna land? Oh, that was all part of the plan. Also, the comment I do I do remember uh, hearing the commentator say that Charles specifically that I learned Sonic backwards. I learned how to be offensive with him, and then I learned how to be defensive. That is actually extremely accurate. So for those of you who don't know, when I first started playing the game, when I first started playing Sonic competitively and stuff, I, I wanted to be aggressive. Like, I, I was one of those Twitch chat gyms, bro. One of those 6WX fanboys. You remember that? What? You do? That's crazy. I didn't expect anybody to remember that. <laughs> but yeah, like, like, I actually, I despised camping, bro. I would give Raph shit for camping. I was like, dude, don't camp, bro. I'd be like, why are you camping, bro? Like, Sonic is meant to be rushed down. Sonic is a fast character, blah, 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 blah. All that bullshit. And so I was aggressive myself. And it wasn't until 2020 when I realized, like, actually, I can just not approach. And still hit you guys. So I became better at that. And then I learned that, and then obviously I kept polishing my aggression. Oh, you, oh, okay, the commentators. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, I was like, damn, that's crazy. You wish you were an OG fan. Yeah, I actually learned like, like I would just be aggressive and shit. But it wasn't aggressive in a, in a good way. Like now I'm aggressively good, I guess, or I can play aggressively good. I would just kind of, I would overextend a lot. That was the thing.
I would overextend a lot. I would, I would use spin dash like really offensively in bad positions. I would position myself. Um. Very poorly back then. Wave dash, you were nothing but aggressive, super in your face. Loved it. Thank you. Glad you did. It wasn't intentional though, but or maybe it was. I don't know. I guess I kind of conditioned myself to doing that. Hmm. That's good. But yeah, I guess I kind of conditioned myself into playing like that. I did time. I did time a Meta Knight out in pools. <laughs> But that, I mean, it's, it's Meta Knight. Am I ever going to do YouTube work? I've been doing YouTube, bro. I've been doing YouTube. Oh, shit. Everyone subscribe. Sub to his YouTube, you're a true fan. Yes, Luke said it best. If you need any YouTube work done, like an intro video, my bro can do it. But I'll let you know. But yeah, wave dash. There's a tiny. There's tiny. Uh, what? There's a tiny submarine that's lost in the ocean that's supposed to give people tours of the Titanic wreckage for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. They have forty hours of oxygen left down there. It's the most claustrophobic shit. Oh my god. Is that what that's all about? Because I did see on Twitter something about a submarine from Titanic, and they're using a Logitech controller to control it. It's probably just like a joke or something. I don't know. I thought, damn. It's true. Literally. Not really? That sounds like That almost sounds like I don't know, like a Black Mirror episode or something. There's no way. Like there's no way that's real. I mean I believe it. I believe it. I just wish it wasn't. Five people in there. 
Wow. That's horrible. There's five. There's a mini documentary that came out like three months ago or something. And then now it's missing. Wow. What happened? So basically there's like a, a tiny submarine that's lost in the ocean that's supposed to be to give people tours of the Titanic wreckage for two thousand two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And This is Anathema, as the name suggests. Yeah, it was terrible today, holy shit. Then he's robbed. New main. Should just walk whenever Gyro's in. Gyro's not in play. Oh my god. Take more ground there. So I can catch Gyro. Oof. That was kind of sick. Hasn't passed any certifications. They made it partly out of carbon fiber, which is insane at those depths. Also, you cannot exit it from the inside, so even if the submarine somehow surfaced, they cannot get out unless someone finds them. That is insane. Am I gonna try to practice the corn matchup with Sh Sonic Shadik or Sharp? Y'all yeah, hit him up. Come on, your last message says it implies. That a submarine was made to eventually sink and self-destruct underwater. Two, one, go. That's what it sounds like. I know. I like hard SDI. I don't know. I don't know if it's the SDI or yeah. yeah I got I got really lazy there. Lazy town. Take 
take that. Then, wow. I'll take that any day. Oof, let's go. The guy, though. Why, actually, okay. I am surprised. Yeah, I got lazy again. It's always me versus chat whenever Sonic's in top 8, and you're a real one for that. <laughs> Game 3. Anathema versus Sonic's. Big fan of how you play, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. It's hard and you don't got, you don't care, you do what you gotta do. Yes, sir. Oh, I was too slow on that. Sonic came and fuels you? Yeah. I need to practice my uppers out of shield. Terrible DI, but it's okay. There we go. Beat it out with spin dash. There we go. I don't know why I jumped there. Dude. I died for hitting him. It's crazy. Alright, now that shit does not count. Let's do one more. Alright.
There has to be a way I can avoid that zero to death. I don't I don't believe that shit is true. There's no way that's true. There's something I can do. Three, two, one, go! I was doing up and in. I wish I could have half your patience. You can get there. I did. I wasn't always this patient. Oh. Run away. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to try something. That's for sure. Thank you, getting. Thank you, letting that shit happen to me. How did I improve that aspect? Lots of practice. I missed up. I gotta stop mashing out of this advantage. I can swear it's not work. So yeah, there I mix it up. Hmm. Do you do stuff outside of master practice? Just practice patience and mindset? Not really. What the? <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, I don't, um, stuff outside, of, I mean, patience and mindset, I go to the gym, I think that helps with your mental and your mindset in general, uh, doing things that make me happy, like, or, you know, help me relax, like, spend time with my girlfriend, um, spend time with my friends, listen to my favorite songs, play other games, Watch Go. movies, things like that. In terms of patience, I guess meditation helps with that. And I, I do meditate sometimes. I didn't have a jump. Do I meditate before sets? I don't, I should. It's 
surprised that worked. It's not coming. Can we actually turn it I swear to god I reversed it. Yeah, I played really bad. The no, the matchup is not hard, I'm just playing like shit. I think the title is definitely up for grabs. Do I think HBox should unban Steve from Coinboxes? <clears throat> yeah.
I really wanted to see you against Akala when you were getting Steve practice weekly. Yeah. You know what? All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna force myself to be playing this fucking game right now. I'd rather just hop in training mode. You know what I could do though? Training. Something happened now. I just stopped playing. But like, I, d I just wasn't feeling Smash today. I kind of just played because... Um... I wanted to stream and i want to stream smash that's it but i didn't really want to play so i'm gonna do something else instead be like that yeah yeah, like, I mean, some some days you just, I need a break, bro. <laughs> I've been playing grinding since before Wave Dash. I went to every pre-local. I played a Wave Dash. I came back yesterday. I played again. I just need to, like, relax. What I can do though is watch.
more than 100%, which is super needed sometimes. Yeah. I'd go over my sets, but I'm gonna keep it real. I just don't want to do anything Smash related, at least not like from my perspective. Went on a rant? No, I'm just being. I was. I'm just being real, bro. What do you mean? Yeah, so far, Taiki's disadvantage is just sus. And then that was, that was fine, but he could have gotten... If he had covered that ledge, that would have been better. He's not going to die from this, yeah. Back here, dead. Yep. You just realized that Sonic's fourth there was him kicking people in the balls, yeah. Again, no one to take the time to rest sometimes, especially if you feel like you can handle pushing yourself more, but sometimes it's legit needed and necessary. I felt fire taking a couple weeks off and coming back to the game, did that recently. Yeah, to be fair, I don't even need to like take that, t take that much off. Take that much time off. Uh, I just like, at least a day. Like when I was in Cali, at least I was able to do other stuff. Like I went to Universal. Oh, Nair? Yeah. Among other things. Saw some new places. So, you know, I was also... I was also taking some time off. Uh, I think Uber would have been better there. No. I respect... I respect the attempt. I probably would have done the same thing. I wouldn't have upgraded on the platform, though. Yeah, this seems... I know he loses this game because he gets 2 out and 2 out. This seems super winnable, though. It's just he made really bad decisions and advantage and disadvantage, and it's costing him the whole game. No. Mm-mm. I'm surprised he won set one if he played like this, but maybe he played differently. He's playing hella scared right now. The spins out of this advantage. Gotta stop. That was good. I feel like that's most Sonic players fucking kryptonite, bruh. Spinning out of disadvantage. If I had a dollar for any time a Sonic player died because they spun in disadvantage, I'd be fucking rich, man. Can I vow review my set with Leo? I'd do it, but I kind of don't want to right now. It's not even on YouTube yet. And I hate VOD reviewing on Twitch because... 
If I want to go back to a moment, it takes me 15 seconds back. He gets too old, like, so I'm not... I forgot he gets too old. I was like, okay, let me see if Taike adapts. That was really good. No. Alright, so one thing, since I'm already here, I wasn't really trying to get technical about this shit. I just wanted to, like, watch. But, might as well, because this is something that low-key triggers me. Any, like, bro, please. Anytime you get this, anybody, any Sonic get th gets this. After the second up air, just back air. Like, after you put him on the platform and you pop him up, just back air. I promise you, it's, or forward air. It's way better than up air. Yes, up air is more consistent. Yes, it still pops him up, whatever. But it, it doesn't do much. It doesn't do much. You get a better positioning and better... You get better positioning and better... What's the word? Potential to kill them, I guess. If you push them off to the side than if you put them above you. Like, yeah, he gets the upper and then that's it. If he had gone for back air, he could have gone double back air. Let's let's just recreate the situation. Like, theory crafted, right? So if he had gone for back air here, there's two things that could have happened. Either Zach raid the eyes up and then he sets up for the double jump. Like, that's basically a guaranteed frame trap because Zachary has one of two options. He either double jumps to try and get out of back air, but because of the percentage, if he double jumps, back air's hitbox is big enough to hit the double jump, and then he's out without a double jump, and then he can get edge guarded, blah, blah. If And then if he doesn't double jump and just air dodges, Taike can nair and punish the air dodge here and then get up air and then back air again and push him back off stage. Like, this is kind of... Uh, I don't have the bot. Fuck. I was going to get it. Whatever. But, yeah. But it, instead, you get this. You get a neutral reset. Not in your favor. He gets punished for it, too. It's just up air. Like, finishing combos with up air is just not good. Or it's not... Yeah, like, right there, he could have forward aired again or, or back aired. That was really good. That was good coverage. Overextended a little bit. You should have parried that instead. Alright, peace, H Tem. Be doing Sonic Dittos and they be doing up throw up even though there's no platform. I mean, that's fine. Like if up throw up it's at zero. You're not really you can t kill them at zero, but it's very character dependent and also hard. Like, yeah, if you, you you can still get a lot of up throw up air without a platform. The problem is when you do up air and then up air again and then up air again. Unless it it's gonna kill. Like there's very specific situations where it would. But that's not one of them. Forward air, yeah, he's dead. I feel like he's kind of playing too scared of Rob with the little dash shields he's doing. And that was an up air out of shield. And also just autopiloting with the spins. So I, I want to see more. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to see more. More mix ups. More movement. Because it's like shielding against characters like Rob. Shielding against projectile characters in general usually doesn't... Oh man, that was that would have been good. That was really good. That was really good. No! The good DI. It's fine. Your boy P. Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate it. Oops, I opened an app by accident. Okay. Forward air? In there, mm-hmm. 
Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. No, 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 that's not. Ooh. It was actually dead if Zachary Ford there, I'm pretty sure. But that makes up was still good. Yeah, like, that was really good. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Overextending. Shield poked. Nice. Yeah, like, Zach Ray is using Nair to land every time, but he's he's using it to, like, the landing there. He's not mashing Nair in this advantage, so Taike can actually just hit him. That's not true. Oh, my God. If he up aired or Nair, I think Zach Ray would have died. That was risky. Not going to shield poke, yes. Let's look at that again, actually. So the reason why this doesn't shield poke is because... Let's see. Oh, Zachary actually angles it. I think either way, yeah, I don't think it would have chill poked, to be fair. Because nothing was popping outside of, uh, like, not a single part of Rob's body was popping out of the shield. Yeah, that was, that was super risky. He's dead. So that's set one. Set two. Yeah, he's not covering. Oh my god. He needs to be pairing Nair more. Thought this was Ken the entire time. Nah, Ken actually got third in this tournament. Yeah, Ken actually got third. Wait a second. No. Up smash coverage isn't gonna do it, and Taike okay. is still trying to shard the landing, but Zachary manages to land with a nair. What a surprise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's the goat. 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 Yeah, but Taike oh. looking for a confirm here with the aerial. Doesn't Hit him. Like there we go. That spin dash. Nice back air. Taike gonna be able to. There we go. Edge guard snare on him. Mm -mm. Jeez. Oh, that was good. Wow, calling that uh, yeah, aggressive calling, option. Yeah, calling the aggressive option. The forward air from Zachary being swatted out by Sonic's massive feet. Ooh, the bait. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. We actually might oh. see Zachary going up oh. a full stop. Yeah, that was not worth it. That was super negative on hit. Jeez, yeah, Zachary, he's just absolutely controlling the pace of this ledge right now. Taike not being able to realistically find his way back without racking on some percent. Zachary Dead? Oh my god. in the zone right now. The air dodge is gone. Kanathama would have killed me there. <laughs> the Dude, roll, uh, he is not letting him breathe one bit, covering the roll get up. Taiki finally managing to get up with a uh, aggressive option. Oh, nice oh spin I shot. Love this. Yeah, man, if he mm -mm. just ran into that backer, that would have been almost game. Zachary that was super right risky, man. Oh my god, Zachary is on his ass, bro. It is. He is, oh, he he is, is relentless oh at the god, moment. He needs to hit him, bro. Uh, Taiki. <laughs> it's like he's playing. He was playing way too scared now. Oh, the laser. Nice air dodge. Look, it's Rob. Again. Oh, and the oh way Zachary is playing, like he's not playing like, for example, say Anathema, who was just constantly in my face and mixing up and doing stuff. Like he's kind of playing chill. But Zachary is playing scared and giving him too much space to think and set up his walls and do stuff. And like just doing that shield. Like that shield of Sonic is possibly one of the worst things you can do. If not the worst thing. How's this matchup? This matchup is pretty... It's sort of even. I'm more inclined to believe that believing that Sonic slightly wins, but Rob is still Rob and can do Rob things. I do, but yeah, I still think Sonic wins for sure. Yeah, like he's not catching Gyro. That's that's also probably the most important thing about this matchup is ca being able to catch Gyro and force Rob to do other stuff because Gyro just allows for so many mix-ups. Should have back here there. Like Missed opportunity. Yeah, these spins back on stage, dude. <laughs> Swear to God. 
Working wonders for Taike in this match, I am sure. I think Taike, when it comes to up air, Taike is really good at. That's like, fine. That's better than double up air, though. Approaches with spin dash, delaying up air? No. Or just like going right, uh, straight in. But Rob's net is so good at covering, like, kind of a particular region to the point where, regardless of if Taike decides to delay or quicken the timings of his um, approaches. Catch it? He uh, kind of just gets swatted away mm -mm. by there anyway. Yeah, that's, that's what true. Zachary Super is. risky spin shot yeah, or no? Just because of town and city's platform. Oh my god. Oh my yeah, that was good. That was good. Jeez, oh wait. Oh. Yeah, he also needs to learn how to DI yeah, that. So he had to DI to the right there. Not being able to adapt to this at the moment. And I mean, who can blame him? It's like... Because for those of you who don't know... For those of you who don't know, when you get hit by Rob's up air, you want the eye towards the opposite side he's drifting. So if he's drifting, so here we can see that Rob was drifting towards the left side, so you want the eye right. If he's drifting towards the right side, you want the eye left. Oh, yeah, like that was, we can we can see, I think we can look at the eye line. Let's see. What, where the fuck is it, the eye line? Okay, okay, okay. Let's try it again. No. Let's see. It's crazy. Oh, I, I might have been wrong, actually. No way. Is nah? Is that the eye out? Why is that shield so bad? What do you want him to do in those situations? I want him to just move, bro. Like, the, that shield is so bad because it limits your options. Because think about it. When you're in that shield, you can either... Like, you can only jump out of shield. Shield grab. Do an aerial out of shield. You can't dash. You can't walk. I mean, you can walk out of shield, but that is very slow. Or dash out of shield, but that's super slow. Just move your AI cover. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was looking for that. Um, you can spin if you're not shielding. Like, if you're in shield, you're just limiting your options so much. And it's like, you don't have to be scared. Like, first of all, why are you just running up and shielding? Because, number one, most of the things that Rob's going to do, you're, you're not going to be able to punish out of shield. I guarantee you. Unless they do bad options. But like, space down tilt, you're not going to punish out of shield. Hola Sonic, solo quería decir que jugaste de maravilla el torneo fin de semana pasado. Gracias, Taxman. Muchas gracias. But, uh, yeah, so you're not going to be able to <clears throat> punish anything, first of all. Second of all, I already said the part, like the movement, it limits your movement. It limits your options. Uh, so like, you want to play outside of dash attack range. Maybe even inside dash attack range, if the raw players aren't really rushing you down. But you want to play outside of dash attack range and just be ready to catch gyro, parry laser. If they jump into you with an air, parry an air and then punish on reaction. But you don't want to preemptively shield and let alone dash towards their face and shield. Like, there's nothing you're going to do about that. Like, no matter what, what option they pick when you do that, you're not going to get anything out of it. It's just not worth, not worth it, not good. And this goes for most matchups. I mean, who can blame him? It's like last minute decisions. And by most, I mean almost every single one of them. Including the ones with the fact that had a considerable lead, with characters that rely on their burst options like Fox and Aegis. Sure, if the Aegis player's, player is very tilt happy and stuff, then yeah. But otherwise, uh uh. Wow. Should be dead though. No, 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 no. That was a grab. Actually, that was an up smash. That was an up smash. Yeah. Because if we look at that. Can recover from the other side. 
So it hits his shield here. Okay, that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, he could have smashed that out of shield. I think he tried to. Wow, it's unfortunate. Jeez. Man, Desagre's not the life of a Sonic main. Oh, Dead. What? Yeah, he's just he's also not edge guarding him once. That's another thing. If you don't edge guard people as Sonic or ledge trap people, you're gonna you're not gonna kill, man. Like you're straight up not gonna kill. At least before two hundred percent. I'm surprised that killed. Gonna hit the nail in the coffin for him. Yeah, like he's just jumping in a lot. Still with the lead. Super risky. Nice. Taking way too many risks. Yeah, and how is Zachary finding so many grabs in this match? He here? is. He it's is crazy because Sonic is one of the hardest characters in this game to grab. Period. No. Uh, winner period. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so funny. Shut up. But, shut up. Yeah, shut up, Ryan Lutz. But he's been being able to find so many grabs, Zachary. Especially Rob just that was good. So much mileage off of them and is doing one is for him nice. in this match against Spin charge again? Uh, no, 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 that's too risky. Oh, dash attack, <sighs> too risky. Died for it too. Um, okay, I like that. Oh, no, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no, I like that. That was really good. See, like that's what I'm saying. Like this is the type of play you need to be doing all the time against Rob. Against characters like Rob. There's a couple others that this applies to as well, but. Back here, Nice. Spin dash. Oh, he didn't time it. That sucks. Oh, jeez. Being able to get out of that rough situation there. Oh my god, mix ups with the homing attack. Uh, he definitely, he definitely had this game from the way he's playing now. The uppers are killing me, man. Not gonna air dodge there. Tyke is fishing for it, but oh, yeah, Spin Dash was... just threw the laser. Oh, this is such a rough situation. Mm -mm. Zachary, uh, Tyke is trying so hard to shark under the platforms, but Zachary's just been so patient getting off of them. Yeah. Nice. Oh, Forward air. Oh, no. Okay, I. I like the idea. I like the idea. I think he could have gotten it if he if he hadn't drifted. Uh, that early. Like I know who he's going for. Up there into the platform, then up B or double jump up here, and it would have killed for sure. They just don't jump. Mm -hmm. Super risky. Nair! Oh my God, he had that. I thought it was gonna nair. He had that short hop nair. Forward air, yep. And then he he just super overextends and dies. Yep. So another thing, whenever you see Rob up there. It's it literally impossible to hit Rob. Same thing applies to Snake. So like if we look at this, right? Look at the map. He's outside of the blast zone. So this is the blast zone right here. He's outside of the blast zone. And for some fucking reason, we can't really hit him. Actually, he might have been at the top of the blast zone. Yeah, yeah, never mind. He was at the top of the blast zone. And when he's right at the top, you cannot hit him. So he gets hit. For some reason, right? Like, I don't know how that works or why that works, but just how it is. Same thing with Snake. Like, that's why you'll see some Snake players just get all the way up there. And you'll try to hit them and you can't. It's because of that. You can't hit people when they're, like, right at the corner of the blast zone. So, Rob was, like, right here. Um, Like, his circle was right here. Let's go back. Yeah, it was right here. This is when Taiki tried hitting him. Look at, look at the distance. It just wasn't going to reach. <coughs> any water but it wasn't gonna reach so what you want to do instead is wait until rob inevitably comes down and then punish him and if rob wants to keep just floating up there just wait and then hit him and what's gonna happen is he's gonna run out of fuel and he's gonna die really early upstage Got a question concerning your meta file. Is it worth to get a lesson as a Joker main? I'm sure I could learn a lot about the game in general. Yes, yes it is. I could teach you about the game. I could teach you about... Oops, what did I do with this? About Joker, because I understand Joker pretty well. So, I, yeah, it's definitely worth it. What's up, Schmickstape? You know what I noticed, though? Japanese players don't really fist bump each other after games. That's experience at the end of the day. That is legacy coming... 
the 19th of time. What are you doing? Psyche go. Oh, like I thought everybody did. It's not a bad thing. Just interesting. Like you can see them like kind of like talking about the game and stuff. But they don't really. <laughs> like they finished the game. <clears throat> and didn't really fist bump each other. Like damn. I guess probably like, damn, yeah, you got it. <laughs> he had that though. He had that. Just that overextension in general was just not not worth it. He needs to start up smashing Rob's nair too. Our up smash beats it. And then yeah, that's done. Oh, they bow down? Okay, that makes sense. The bow is enough? Okay. Yeah, I figured. I figured they did something else. I think it's cool. Because I do think that sometimes fist bumping before and after sets is kind of obnoxious, too. Or, hmm. Because I'm thinking, how do they... How was it when you played... When I played soccer... Did they have me shake their hand before and after, or was it just after? I think it was just after. It's whatever. But I think it's interesting, nonetheless. But yeah, it's not that it's obnoxious, but it's like sometimes, like, especially with the way stages are set up sometimes it's like you'll have somebody on one side on one end of the stage and then the other guy on the other end and then you finish the game you have to wrap up you have to wait until the <laughs> you have to wait until your opponent wraps up too and then you go there and fist bump and it's like you kind of gotta wait which is the part that i don't like but it's whatever yeah right like when it's in soccer it was only after yeah i think that's usually how it is in most sports like in tennis Intense it might have been after as well. Unless they know each other and it's like, oh hey, what's up? Like, good luck. But yeah. But uh I'm gonna leave it there. Cause I got things to do. I gotta take care of my cat. Take her to the vet. And all that. Um as usual, thank you guys for stopping by. Appreciate you. We're 26 subs away from the sub goal. Not too bad. Um, but yeah. Hopefully by next stream, by tomorrow, they do upload my set with Leo. So we can like go over it. But yeah. Hope you guys have a good rest of your night or day. Peace. Give the kitty pets for me. I'll give. I'll. I'll. I'll make sure I do. Let me see. Actually, who should we raid? Mm -hmm. Let's raid Mars. Mars always raids me. 